been a pastor on call. I've got a great question here that has come in. And uh, again, this is one that, that, that comes up almost every day uh, for me. Uh, and, and, and do good people go to heaven? And I know that everybody wants to believe that good people go to heaven, but it all depends on your definition of being good, I guess. Um, everybody has today their own standards. Uh, there was a time when I was going to school that if you if you dared put bubble gum underneath the desk, and at that time they were all wooden desks when I went to elementary, if you put gum under your desk, you you you'd get sent to the office and maybe suspended. And so today, uh, what what used to be wrong is now right, and 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 the standards of right and wrong have been have been so much changed. So the reason I I bring that up is that that some people think they're good because they live by their own standards of being good. You follow me? But God has his own standards of what goodness are. And, and, I, and I recently did a video called, um, Can You Be Saved by Works? If you wanna check that out. So, so check this out. When, when the Lord was dying on the cross, he had one thief on each side. They were being uh, crucified for crimes that they actually committed. And in Luke chapter 23, verse 43, it says, Jesus said to the thief on the cross, he said, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. And the reason why Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise and that you will go to heaven this day was not because of any works that he did. In fact, you can say that he was the very first man that went to heaven. And so he went to heaven, not based on him saying, I'm good. God didn't, Jesus didn't say, because you're good. He was a thief. He was being crucified for a crime that he committed. But what did he say to Jesus? Well, let's look at um, the preceding verse in Luke chapter 23 verse number 39. One of the criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, if you are the Christ, save yourself. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. And then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He acknowledged that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. He didn't, he, he was qualified by that statement. Listen in verse 43, as we just read. And then Jesus said, assuredly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. This thief on the cross was qualified, justified, not by being good. He had done nothing good. In fact, he did, had done much that was bad and was being crucified for it. But he, he turned out to be the very first man that ever saw heaven over that confession. Good people do not go to heaven. Sinners saved by the grace of God and the blood of the Lamb do. It is not by works that we are saved, lest any man should boast. I know what it's like to feel that I was good and that by my goodness I would be saved or see heaven over that. There is not a single human being that will ever watch this video that will ever see heaven because he or she thinks they are good. And as good as you think you are, as wonderful as you think you are, as often as you pray, as often as you fast, as wonderful as you are to the sick, 
and feeding the poor, not a single human being, not even Mother Teresa, saw heaven or will see heaven based on their standards of what goodness is. The only way we see heaven is through Christ Jesus and the good that he did and the person that he is and the savior that he is and the, and, and the sinless lamb that he is. Jesus is our righteousness and we can be reunited with Jesus, with God and the spirit, not by any works, but because of Jesus being our righteousness. Amen. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Check out the other videos. Let us know what you think. Uh, put your comments below and may God richly bless you today. In Jesus' glorious name, amen. God bless. I hope this video was a blessing to you. And if it was, please don't forget to subscribe below and put your comments down there as well. Also, if you are interested in making a donation to this ministry, uh, please go ahead in the description box. There's a link down there for you to make your donation. Also, please check out our website. It's also in the description box as well. May God bless you. Thank you for watching. See you around.